Hey, thanks for watching this video. There's more at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and there is the pie guy. All right, this is second grade module eight, lesson 12. And in this lesson, students are gonna learn that equal parts of an identical rectangle can have different shapes. So what I mean by that is like, um, a rectangle can be cut into halves, but the halves might look different. In one case, it might look like rectangles, while in another case, the halves might look like triangles. So let's get started. So let's dig deep into that idea first before we start with our lesson. Um, so parents and teachers, we might start with a square, all right? And we want to show our students that that square could be cut into two pieces. And all of a sudden, we now have halves. And one of the neat things about this is, well, this half, we could take it and move it, and we still have a half. We still have half and half. So we can move things around, and uh, we still have that conservation of half and half. In fact, we can even rotate it and move it around, and we can we still have half right here and half right here. So we can go even further. We can take that half and we can cut it into two pieces. So all of a sudden you got this. And the idea is for students to still recognize that we have half and half. What's different now though is that our half looks a little bit different. So if I wanted to, I can kind of get rid of this guy and we still have oops uh there a half on our left right here and we have a half on our right but the half on our left looks different than the half on the right in fact i can even get crazy and i can take this and i can move it right here or i can move it right here and we still have half and half or i can put this half right here so parents and teachers you can let your students uh, play with the different variations of what a half might look like. Now, all of this is involving uh, rectangles and squares. I mean, we could uh, take, oh, let's say, uh, how am I going to do this? Let's say I can do one like that, and I can create this um, triangle, right? And that triangle it could be, uh, oh, I can make two of them, let's say. And I'm going to make two of them right now. One, two, three, duplicate. Woohoo! So now I got this, and so I can put them together, and I can make it into a rectangle like this. Or actually, it would be a square, but a rectangle. And then I can uh, grab both of them, and then I can duplicate them again. So I could take that and duplicate. And all of a sudden, I've got, oops, now I've got another one. And then I can take that and I can duplicate it again. And now I've got another one. And so we can start to see that if I wanted to, oh, let's see, I could take, Mm, oh, I'm going to get rid of all of these guys. Get rid of them, get rid of them, get rid of them. Make them go away. Good. All right. And so I could say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And so the idea would be, well, I could take these, whoa, I could take these triangles and I can move them over here and you can see I have made a half, all right? It's obvious to see that it's a half. But now here's what's really kind of cool. I could take this, which we've all agreed is a half, and I can rearrange them. Now I can rearrange them. So let's see, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna rearrange it. So I'm gonna put that there. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to slide him right here. And then I'm going to take this guy and, whoa, whoa, stay there. And then this guy, oh, let's see, I might make him go right here. 
And then I'm going to take this guy, this last one, and put him right here. And then all of a sudden, those triangles that used to be forming a rectangle, they're suddenly making a different kind of shape. Now they're making a triangle, but we still agree that it's half. If it used to be half, it's still half. They're just rearranged. So parents and teachers, that's the kind of general idea that we want our students to be grappling with, is the idea that a half might look differently. It, at one point, it might look like a rectangle, and then suddenly in another time, it might be a triangle, and it's the same amount. It's the same half. So this is our homework, and this is where we actually start to get to practice what we're talking about. So the directions say partition the rectangles in two different ways. So we want to show two halves, and we want to do it in two different ways. So here we might cut it this way, and here we might cut it this way. So I've done, I've used two different ways to show two halves. So if we want to say three, show three thirds, well, one way might be to cut it up like that, and another way might be to cut it up like that. So again, I'm showing two different ways to cut thirds. Now fourths, I got a variety of choices. So one way might be fourths, and another way might be fourths. And so these rectangles don't look the same, but they equal the same amount because the whole has, in both cases, been cut into four pieces. Same up here. These are both halves. So that means this piece right here, right here, is the same amount as this piece right here. It just looks different. And the last problem is really just an ongoing activity um, where we want our students to just investigate. So it says, cut out this square. Now cut this square in half and make two equal sized rectangles, shade one half. So we're going to cut this rectangle in half and we're gonna shade in half, one of those halves. And then it says, rearrange the halves to create a new rectangle with no gaps or overlap. So what is that gonna look like? Well, um, uh, parents and teachers, this is gonna end up, oh, let's see, how do I move this? Um, I want to unlock this guy. There we go. Uh, so the idea would be, what is it gonna look like if we take these two rectangles and rearrange them? Well, um, it's gonna look like, let's see, I'm gonna outline this and see if I can move it. Oh yeah, it worked. And then that's our one half. And I'm gonna group those and edit group. All right, so there's my half right there. And then we're gonna have another one, right? So we need another one. So what's that gonna look like? It's gonna look it's gonna, I'm going to draw this one right here, and it's going to look like boom, 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 boom. And then, oops, there it is. That's the one I wanted, all right? So suddenly, it's going to look like this. And so, again, I'm going to lock that scale, all right? So, But they want us to rearrange these two uh, to make a new rectangle. Well, I could do that, but that's not very fun. But what I, I could do is I can say, well, let's rearrange it like this. Hey, look at that. Now I've got a different rectangle. Then it says cut each of those parts in half to make four equal size squares. So we could cut that in half and cut that in half. And all of a sudden, we're going to have four little squares. So let's see if I can uh, make that happen real quick. So we've got, we're going to end up with a square right there, right there. We're going to end up with a square right here right there. We're going to end up with a square right here, right there, and we're going to end up with a square right there. And so let's move those down. But remember, this one has been shaded in right there, and then this one has been shaded in right there. And so really, if I want to group them, I can say, let's group that and let's group this 
And so they want us to rearrange. So I could say, all right, well, let's rearrange them. Boom. Oops. There we go. So that's part D. I could rearrange them to make a different polygon. Or, heck, if I wanted to, I can say, well, let's do this. That's kind of cool. That's kind of creative, and I made a different kind of a polygon. And I know that half is shaded because it started out looking like this. That's half. Then it looked like this. This is still half. And we just rearranged the pieces. And so half looks very different in these each of these different configurations. One half, one half, and then I need two pieces to make one half. And that wraps up kind of a fun uh, investigation. Second grade, module eight, lesson 12, recognizing that half or various fractions might look very different from example to example.